sort of the the overarching topic of the podcast is talking about autism in women and mm-hmm. in what ways do you think the experiences of relationships for autistic women may, may be different hmm. let me think about this one for a second i think one thing for women is the way and this kind of plays back into our expectations are just expected to look a certain way you know dress up for your partner and look cute and be flirty. You know, I think a lot of times for women, we're expected to be the flirty one or, um, you know, I think to just going to events and being like the supportive girlfriend or whatever, you know, the supportive Mm -hmm. partner can be hard because it's a lot of social interaction. Um, so I think just the way we carry ourselves and, um, you know, this might, this might be less, autism related, but I think in general today, it's just hard for many women to feel like they can be assertive, which I do feel like actually is really important to talk about with autistic people because it's so important for us to speak bluntly and directly. Hmm. And a lot of times that is not received well. Like people don't like it. A lot of people don't like it when women are assertive and they're unapologetic. And so I think that's especially hard for autistic people who want to live a life of integrity and honesty and be open about what they're thinking and feeling. I think a lot of times that can be met with like, well, you know, you're, you know, the B word is kind of how it comes across. Mm -hmm. So I think that bluntness and kind of clashes up against who we're expected to be in a relationship. And I think women are ready to be like, and we are, we're the strong, confident partner, you know, that wants to have equal say and, you know, I'm getting on my soapbox now, but I think there's a lot at play there for sure. Thank you for that. (laughs) I think there's, there's also another aspect, which is perhaps a little bit more dark, which is sort of in the realms of like abuse and negativity, because the statistics Mm. that are out there, like just for abuse in general, in all, all domains are, pretty horrifying yeah um and if i think i think i did see a, a study where it was like it happens it happens a lot more that to autistic women mm-hmm. especially since you have you know men are a lot more likely to have a certain personality that can be abrasive and manipulative and abusive sometimes mm-hmm. i feel like considering that more more men are like that i would you know i'd say that you know women are a lot more um vulnerable to that kind of physical yes. physical related abuse like yeah and it is unfortunate and again you know i'm thinking about these dating and relationship groups i mean the the women who were open about the abuse that they faced was, you know, if I had to just give a number, I would say it was easily 60%. And these were just the women who were open about. Yeah. So unfortunately, you know, I, I feel like it, again, going back to what we said earlier, generally speaking, you know, autistic people are pretty empathetic, but even, but women even more so, you know? And so I think that we tend to attract people sometimes that, like you said, give us word salads and are manipulative and try to to use our empathy to make them feel better. We kind of lose track of who we are and we want to make the other person feel better. So we'll give Mm -hmm. our body, we'll give, you know, our emotions. And unfortunately, a lot of times there'll be an abusive situation where on the other side of it, the delayed processing, everything, you know, on the other side of it, it takes you a while to realize what even happened. Yeah. And unfortunately that that is a common story among women on the spectrum. 